Greater New York Chamber of Commerce provides valuable services to over 20,000 business and civic leaders in the Greater New York business community. Mr. Mark Jaffe is the President and CEO of the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce and one of our regulars. Always great to see you. Good to see you again. Welcome. Thank you very much. And this time we're not in the street. We're in comfortable chairs. Right. Okay, comfort. How is the economy right now? How is it affecting your members? The comfort level across the nation isn't terribly comfy. Well, people are still as comfy as they were, but they're concerned, and rightly so. Our financial systems are uh, taking a lot of profits out of the economy, and uh, it's not been shared with everybody. So people are concerned about their retirement, their education, their health, mm -hmm. but uh, we need to turn it around, and we need to work hard and do that. What's a long-term forecast from the, the view of your members, you say for the next, say, 12, 24 months? Well, we're still doing surveying, but people expect it to level off. We never know. Some other uh, industries may come out and say, let me get a bite of those tax dollars. So now is the time to tell our elected officials and people with the power of the purse, mm -hmm. hey, spend it like it's our money because there's not a lot of it or share it. Mm -hmm. Your chamber has grown enormously over the last two or three years in numbers. Uh, why? Well, actually, uh, going back two decades ago, we were working with other local chambers to help them build their databases, their membership, and their programming. Mm -hmm. So when you reach out to the small businesses and entrepreneurs, they want to get involved. They want to network. Mm -hmm. They want to grow together. Mm -hmm. So it's important that an organization like the Greater New York Chamber is offering that opportunity to everybody. Business and civic leaders together can come to New York mm -hmm. from across the globe and network and learn. What's the difference with your chamber, say, compared to other chambers that surround? There are many local chambers, that, mm -hmm. uh, like the Greenwich Village Chamber, and there's a strong community of people across the street in buildings, and they like to come to famous locations in certain venues. Mm -hmm. We just partnered with the Yonkers Chamber of Commerce and had a successful business fair up at a new exciting spot in Westchester County. Mm -hmm. And because of that energy and concern, the people of Yonkers and Westchester are going to come down to the city and we're going to do multiple networking events and then letting our civic and elected officials know what we need to grow and ask for accountability. Mm -hmm. You know, it's our money. For a small business, what advice would you have? I mean, last time we spoke, this, this was sort of bubbling at that stage and it's still bubbling, but the, the bubbles are bigger. What sort of, sort of advice would you give a, uh, a small business owner on how to, you know, lock down the hatches and make sure that they survive to enjoy better times? Well, they need to go out there and do client relationships and drum up business and tell people why they're unique, why their services will be good, while the match can be made, mm -hmm. describing the products and services and then asking for the trust and getting the order. Mm -hmm. That's critical in small business mm -hmm. and it can start with one person mm -hmm. and when they do that well, they can train and hire another. Mm -hmm. So that trust needs to be built, and that's what the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce has been about for a long time, and we want people to come from all over the globe and have trust in New York City mm -hmm. and put it on their business cards. Mm -hmm. The old saying, if you don't tell, you don't sell. The networking part and the, just the, the telling bit with uh, your chamber is just uh, enormous and, and very beneficial. Somebody wants to become a member, how do they do that? Well, they can come over. We have open houses here, and we have a beautiful building that was built in 1805. Mm -hmm. We have classrooms, meeting rooms, mm -hmm. so people can come to the business center, mm -hmm. and they can take time to use a workstation. Mm -hmm. They can come in and use a meeting room, or they can come to a chamber event and share ideas and mm -hmm. listen to experts. So the business center is going to help the entrepreneur, the small business person, a person who may have been laid off from a corporation and needs mm -hmm. to re-energize and retool mm -hmm. and use New York City as their official launching pad for mm -hmm. that business, that idea, that internet site globally, but we're here in New York. And the address is? 20 West 44th. And the website address? Chamber.com. Very good, and not rehearsed at all. Not rehearsed, and for those of you who don't know, that's www.chamber.com. Fantastic, Mark. Always a pleasure. And uh, we'll be sharing a martini very shortly. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure is mine.